In this video, we'll be talking about puromycin and how it works at a molecular level. So this is included in the quick concept playlist where we discussed topic within three to four minutes. Now let's talk about how puromycin works. It's basically a potent antibiotic and this particular antibiotic inhibits the translation. And the way it inhibits translation is allowing the peptide bound puromycin to detach from the ribosome, which lead to a truncated protein formation. So this is a little bit details how puromycin works. So first, puromycin has a structure which is very similar to amino acyl tRNA that you can see here. Second, this particular structure can easily incorporate itself into the A site of the ribosome. And it can actually blend in or make peptide bond with the existing peptide chain in the P site. Then, once this is incorporated, then what happens? No new amino acyl tRNA can transfer its peptide group. That is why this particular puro, this puromycin linked peptidal uh, moiety has to be dislodged from the ribosome. And thereby a truncated version of the protein is produced. Full length protein is never synthesized. This is how the protein synthesis stops in the bacteria. That is why it, is, it can be used against broad variety of bacteria because each of the bacteria in order to survive need to produce some enzymes and need to translate proteins, right? So let's talk about the uh, mode of action in a bit more details. So translation has three broad steps, initiation, elongation, and termination. In a separate video, I have talked about it. You can find the video in I button. Anyway, elongation is the step which is hindered by this particular antibiotic. So this is basically the ribosome. Here you can see how the peptidal transferase activity is taking place and the peptide bond is forming. So basically, there is a series of nucleophilic reaction which lead to a peptide bond formation between the amino acyl tRNAs that are sitting in the P and the A site. So in the, eventually, these peptide chain grows by adding more and more amino acids. Now what happens is, in this sequence of growing peptide, when a um, puromycin molecule enters the A site, then it can also form a peptide bond with the growing peptide chain. So here you can see the puromycin can also bond with the existing amino acyl tRNA and thereby forming a moiety called peptidal puromycin. Peptidal puromycin does not hold into the ribosome properly. So it detaches and dislodges from the ribosome. Thereby, peptide synthesis is blocked. Full length peptide cannot be synthesized. Bacteria would eventually die. This exactly is the mechanism how puromycin works. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, puromycin resistance is the big concern these days. Doctors worldwide are concerned about puromycin. And second of all, puromycin is used as a broad spectrum antibiotic because you can cleanly understand be it gram positive bacteria, be it gram negative bacteria, everybody need to synthesize protein in order to survive. If that fundamental aspect is targeted, then bacteria would be dying. But again, you can understand these antibiotics would have very potent uh, action against human uh, body as well. Mostly, puromycin is used in case of laboratory purposes, research. Because in order to study translation, stop translation, in these kind of aspects, puromycin is potentially used. So I hope this video was use useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.